Good morning guys, how is everyone? Today we're talking about the best Android mods and Magisk modules. So basically we are going to be doing apps that don't require root and then we are going to move on to Magisk modules that do require root. And the apps that I'm going to show you aren't necessarily going to be mods, they're just going to be kind of my favorite apps that I use on a daily basis that have some really cool features that I think you should have. Okay, let's move on to the video. So first app that we have on my list is a is an actual mod. Well, it's kind of a mod. It's something a lot of us would have actually heard about. It's Gcam. It's Gcam. It's not Gmod, it's Gcam. So basically what Gcam is, is it's Google Camera. Uh, everyone has heard of Google Camera, I believe at this point. If you're into Android modding of any kind, you are into Google Camera. What Google Camera is, is it's the camera that comes on all Pixel devices. I need to drink something. It's the camera that comes on all Pixel devices. What does this mean? Well, this means you get Google Camera's API. It means you get their beautiful selfie blurring that you can later on adjust in the Google Photos app. By the way, really cool new Google Photos app. I doubt Google is watching this, but I really like the new design. But yeah, Google Camera, a lot of really cool features. For example, you have the selfie flash where the entire screen lights up and it gives a really nice selfie flash. You have the selfie blurring, like I said, in portrait mode. You have a bunch of really cool features like night mode. Night mode is actually absolutely amazing because the night mode in Google Camera does some incredible things that actually makes photos in pitch black actually look like it wasn't pitch black. I don't know how it does it. You have Photosphere, which is 360 photos. You have Google Lens built in right into the app, which means you can scan stuff in the real world. You have time lapse. Everybody knows what time lapse is. Slow motion, really cool. If your phone actually supports it, you can use that. You have the panorama. And of course, then you have camera and you have video. And then you can record in video 4K 30. I think 4K 30 is the max. I don't think they've learned how to do 4K 60 yet. But yes, absolutely great. Now, the next app we have on the list is Solid Explorer. Now, Solid Explorer isn't a mod. It's just a really, really cool app that I think everybody should be having. You know, we have all been using these apps like ES Explorer in the past and things like that. Solid Explorer is a paid app, but it's just so incredibly good that it is entirely worth it to pay for it. Solid Explorer is basically a really nicely designed file explorer that allows you to actually connect to SMB shares, view all your Google Drive data on it. As you can see here, I can click down here, add new connection, and you have a bunch of these connections like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, SMB, FTP, SFTP, all of these incredible, incredible options that you can straight up just add and they appear right here to the left. And as you can see, my NAS is here. So if I click on my NAS, it just opens up my SMB share just like that. So I can actually transfer stuff through my phone straight to my SMB share just like that. Not only that, but something I think is very important nowadays, and I have disabled every other files app just for this, just so that when people, if somebody wants to break into my phone, they reach Solid Explorer, it's password protected. And you can use your fingerprint to unlock it just like this. So really, really useful feature. I think protecting our storage is very important nowadays, and I think everybody should be doing it. Next app we have on the list is Authy. Now, if you use any kind of two-factor authentication software, uh, which you should be using on everything, Authy is the way to go. A lot of you are probably using Google Authenticator, which is just fine, but have you ever reset your phone or put a new custom ROM on and then realized all your authentication is gone? Well, Authy will basically fix that exact problem. Authy has a sign-in procedure and backup keys and all the good stuff, meaning that if you ever reset your phone or switch to a new one, all you do is you sign back in, use your backup keys, and you get all your two-factor authentications back, meaning you don't have to mess around with every website separately to set everything back up again. This is the way to go if you have any kind of two-factor authentication on any of your accounts. Not only that, but its UI is really nice, really, really simple. All your accounts are there at the bottom. You just select which one you want and boom. It shows you the code. It shows you how much you have left on the code and I'm not going to show you my codes. <laughs> But yes. Next app we have is KWGT. Now this is another paid app, but it's custom widgets, meaning you can actually make your own widgets. Now I have reset my phone, so I don't have my custom widgets showing up on it right now, but I actually made a custom widget that counts down to my summer vacation because I can't wait for that. So that widget would normally be on my front screen and it's really simple to make. You have a bunch of different formulas you can use for countdowns, different dates, things like that, different times of the day, a lot of different options. You can customize your widgets, give it custom picture backgrounds, everything like that. Put text on it. It's absolutely great if you want to give your home screen that little bit of flair of a custom widget. I love it 
and I would definitely recommend everyone gets it. Next app we have on the list is Photoscan. I actually use this thing quite a lot because if you're like me, your parents have a lot of really old pictures, like picture albums. And sure, it's nice to have those, but sometimes it would be nice to put them into digital. What Photoscan does is it actually scans all those photos, removes glare and makes them seem like they were actually digital, like right there on your phone. So you can scan real life images, real life photos with Photoscan and throw them right onto your phone. Really cool and really handy if you have a lot of physical photos. It does it really, really well. And the glare removing feature actually does work. Basically what it does is it makes you scan four corners of the photo using the flash and then it combines them to remove the glare. Really cool. Now, the next thing I would recommend you get yourself is a VPN. Now, I'm not necessarily going to recommend a VPN. I personally use TunnelBear, but there's a lot of different VPNs out there, even free ones, and I would just definitely recommend you get one. As some of you may know, I am a big fan of security and having a VPN is a must have in 2020. Not only can you access certain sites that would normally be blocked under your region, like watching different Netflix movies, but it also gives you that extra bit of security encrypting all your data going through the server. Do make sure that you get a nice VPN though, one that is trusted because if you don't, well then you might have a security breach. But yes, definitely get a VPN. And now let's move on to the Magisk modules because I think there's a lot of really cool Magisk modules that I think you guys should have on your phone. So first of all, some of you may know, I'm a huge fan of good music. I have a lot of headphones. You can't see them right now, but they're all behind you. And good music is standard for me. I listen to music basically 24 seven. I listen to music while I'm editing. I listen to music while I'm at work. It's important. So I use a Magisk module called Viper 4 Effects. I've been using this for about the past two years now. And every time I update my phone, this is a necessity. I make sure Viper 4 Effects is working. Viper 4 Effects is a root system music modifier. Basically what that means is you can customize the sound coming through your aux headphones, your phone speaker, your Bluetooth headphones, and even OTG. It's absolutely insane. You have all the best features like master power so that you can bring up the gain of the music you're listening to, which I do quite a lot, maybe break my ears, but meh. You have the equalizer, you have the spectrum extension, you have my favorite, Viper Bass, which allows you to turn up the bass on the music you're listening to. Analog X, auditory system protection. You have Viper Clarity, which is very interesting if you know how to play around with it correctly. Basically, I have a few features turned on here on my Bluetooth headphones. I have it set up to my Bluetooth headphones. And if you click down here, you can actually set presets. So I have my JBL Bluetooth headphones and my Galaxy Buds. So that's really cool. Just a few presets I have there set up and I use Viper 4 Effects on a daily basis. And if you're into music, I would definitely recommend even just root your phone for this one equalizer. It is absolutely insane. The next Magisk module we have is NFC screen off. This module is really cool. It basically allows you to have your screen turned off off and use NFC tags, which can be really useful because sometimes you don't want to unlock your screen if you have, say, an NFC tag that will turn your lights on, which I have when I walk into the room. NFC screen off is super, super cool. And I was reading that they are actually trying to add a feature that will allow you to pay using your phone with the screen off. Personally, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I prefer to use that thing with my screen unlocked just in case, you know, somebody comes up behind me, swipes my phone and steals my data. So personally, I wouldn't really like that one, but I do love the feature where the screen is off and I can tap NFC tags. Really, really cool. Another one that was on my list for the longest time was YouTube Vanced, which actually allows you to make YouTube play in the background, give it picture in picture mode, and it continues playing when you lock your screen. Now there's features in this that also remove ads, but I disabled those just for the simple reason that I like supporting my fellow creators. If I want something done to me, I usually do it to others. So I've disabled ad blocking, but I don't even use YouTube Vanced anymore because the module got a lot more complicated to install. So now I'm just on the standard old YouTube app which is just fine. I mean, it's okay. It's just, I don't have picture in picture mode. I don't have background playback. So those are just two features that I really miss, but I'm not going through all the pain of installing YouTube Vanced. But if you guys want to go through that pain, sure, get YouTube Vanced. It's really, really cool. Next module we have is full screen gestures. And oh my God, did this thing save me. Full screen gestures is great. You know that annoying pill down at the bottom of the screen here, that pill that annoys you every time you want to type or use gestures or it like bumps the keyboard up a notch that's gone with full screen gestures that is gone 
meaning that you have the entire bottom of the, your screen real estate to do whatever you want on your phone. I love it. So if you guys hate the navigation pill as much as I do, I would recommend get yourself full screen gestures for Android Q and Android 11 and boom. Absolutely great. Next module we have is enable quick wallet access on Pixel devices. Now, I think I just realized that, I think I, I think I just realized that this is for Pixel devices now, which is why it's probably not working. Basically what it does is it moves your power menu down to the bottom of your screen here, and it's supposed to show your credit cards up here for Google Pay so that you can switch through them really fast. Now, I have just left it there because I do prefer my power menu being at the bottom of my screen instead of on the side. So I have just kind of left it there. But if you guys have a Pixel device, if you're on a custom ROM, so that you can switch your Google Play cards right here on your power menu. Now, the next one we have is Cloudflare DNS for Magisk. We all know Cloudflare at this point, 1.1.1.1. It's the DNS that everybody should be going on. It's slightly faster than all the other DNSs and much more secure. So I have that set system-wide on my PC, and I have it set now on my phone using that simple Magisk module. So if you guys wanna have security, if you guys wanna have 1.1.1.1 set as your DNS on your phone, boom, here you go, there's a Magisk module for it. You can use it and it will set the DNS system-wide on your phone. And why haven't I done it on my router? Well, that's because some things actually complain when I do that. So that's the simple reason as to why I haven't done that yet. The next module is something I don't have, but something I was using in the past. If you guys have battery problems, Greenify is probably the most used battery extension module on my disk for your phone, and I can confirm it does actually work. Basically what it does is it hibernates apps properly, but again, I haven't had that issue since I switched to Android 10. So if you guys are having that issue, I would say give it a go. But again, currently I don't have it, but I can confirm for you that it does in fact work. The next one we have is AR Core slash Playground Patcher. Now this is really cool. It basically enables AR Core, you know, the cool thing that allows you to place stuff around your room on devices that don't support it. My phone supports it by default, so I don't have it installed, but my mom's phone, for example, I patched it on and boom, now she has AR core. She can play with the playground option in the Google camera, which means you can place AR stickers in the real world and she can use apps like Measure. Sure, they won't be as good as they are on a phone that natively supports it, but hey, if you wanna play around with AR core, here you go, now you have the option to. Have you ever wanted your phone to look like a Pixel, but don't actually wanna buy a Pixel? Well, Pixelify has been a mod for the longest time on Magisk, and it's really, really cool. Basically what it does is it adds all the Pixel mods, all the Pixel features to your non-Pixel device. You can read about it because all the features are listed there. Really, really cool, and definitely I would recommend it if you like the way Pixel devices look, if you like their launcher, if you like all the settings, like the screen on time thing, really, really cool. Definitely recommend trying it out. So you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you found out some pretty cool mods here. I hope you found out something you didn't know, or if you guys have anything I missed, if you guys have your own favorites, put them down in the comment section below. I will definitely take them into account and try them out. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet following the channel, if you are not yet part of the community, make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. Join us on Discord where we have a constantly growing community and we chat about literally anything. We're doing a meetup very soon again in VR chat. So if you guys want to be part of that, make sure to join the Discord community. Follow us on Reddit where I want to see my face getting memed to hell. And if you guys want to be notified of future content, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell and see you again in the next one. Peace. But just before we move on to that, I just want to say, Ireland, I swear to God, if you cancel all your flights now, today, the day that you actually started them back up again, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to say something there, but everything I was going to say was inappropriate. So we're just going to leave that hanging there. Um... I think that's enough. It's just, I have plans and now they're getting threatened again. I have family that lives in Poland. So this is the only time I get to see them. I get one time in a year that I get to see them. And if Ireland cancels the flights, that's not gonna happen. So why are you trying to be different than every other country in the EU? 
I will come back, but only when it's safe to do so. Only when the quarantine has been lifted and because I love the country, but what you're doing with it right now is ruining it. And there was a tweet that went out that actually pissed me off quite a lot. It was essentially, now's the time for a staycation. Spend your money locally. So is that is that the entire plan here? Do you want us to spend locally because your people are losing out on money? If that's the case, let people into the country. So I'm just gonna say, instead of stopping people from leaving the country, just don't let anyone to come back in. I mean, that's my idea. Just don't let anyone back in. I don't care. I don't have to come back. I, I don't have to come back into the country. I don't even care at this point because everything Ireland is doing is the opposite to what every other country is doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, let me out of the country. I'm not gonna come back. Don't worry.